Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, the new Outlook for Windows is now rolling out to Windows 10 and Windows 11 and can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. And as mentioned previously, the new Outlook for Windows app will eventually replace the Mail and Calendar apps and also the classic Outlook. And um, as mentioned uh, in previous videos, uh, the new Outlook for Windows sometime next year in 2024 will become the default um, email client for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, if you want more info, just do a search accordingly on the channel for new Outlook. I have posted a bit of content. But as I mentioned last week um, in a video, which I'll leave down below if you would like some more info, the new Outlook for Windows has now received Apple iCloud support because as many of you will know, you are able to add some of your third-party email accounts into the new Outlook. And just to demonstrate, if we head up to our settings, accounts, email accounts, add account, yeah, you can see that you are able to add a Microsoft 365, so it supports Microsoft 365, Gmail, Yahoo, and as I mentioned last week, iCloud and iMap support. Now, although this is a handy feature to be able to add your third-party email accounts into the new Outlook, um, it has come to our attention, though, that it seems that your private and personal data is being um, shared with and added into the Microsoft servers, which, if you are um, concerned about privacy, may not be optimal. Now, just to demonstrate what this is all about, if I, as an example, just add another a Gmail account and I click on Continue, here we can see it says, to add your Gmail account to Outlook, we need to sync your emails, contacts, and events to the Microsoft Cloud. So that Microsoft Cloud, another word for that would be the Microsoft Service. Now, if we click on Learn More, this is going to take us over to the Microsoft Support website, where you are um, over on the Microsoft Support website, you are informed in this first paragraph that emails, contacts, and events of that account are synced with the Microsoft Cloud to enhance the Microsoft 365 experience. Now, here's the important bit. What happens when I sync my account to the Microsoft Cloud? Now, this is what I want to bring your attention to. It says, syncing your account to the Microsoft Cloud means that a copy of your email, calendar, and contacts will be synchronized between your email provider and Microsoft data centers. So that means those data centers are the Microsoft servers. So although for a lot of users, this might not be an issue, I um, just wanted to give you a heads up if you are concerned about privacy that, as mentioned, your email, calendar, and contacts from your third-party email clients are now being shared with the Microsoft data centers. So um, if you are concerned about privacy, um, maybe it's not recommended that um, you add a third-party account to the new Outlook for this very reason. But the good news is, as many of you may know, as an example, if you are uh, using a Gmail account and are adding a Gmail account to the new Outlook, and um, if you head over to your uh, Google account um, online, you can actually retract these permissions um, in your Google account at any time, um, which means that obviously then Microsoft won't have access to your Gmail data. But then just take note, though, you won't be able to access Gmail through the new Outlook. But just wanted to bring it to your attention because I know um, there are some privacy um, conscious people out there and even viewers of this channel. And just wanted to bring it to your attention, as mentioned, that um, Microsoft has now access to your third party emails and loggings. And that's what you can do about it if you are concerned. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.